Today, thanks to the new ThermoScientific Triplus RSH Sampling Workflow Editor, it is possible to fully utilize the potential of a robotic autosampler platform by easily programming your own automated sample preparation workflow. This tutorial video is dedicated to the exploration of the user interface of the Sampling Workflow Editor and shows how to compose an automated sample preparation workflow. The Sampling Workflow Editor has two different working modes, online and offline. The online mode allows the connection of the software to the ThermoScientific Triplus RSH Auto Sampler by setting the proper IP address. In this modality, the software is capable to retrieve the instrument configuration and control the instrument operations. The offline mode allows to create or edit a sample preparation workflow by opening a previously created instrument configuration without the need to be connected to the instrument. During this tutorial, we're going to work in the offline mode, uploading a Triplus RSH configuration previously created. The user interface of the Sampling Workflow Editor software is very simple, user-friendly and intuitive. All features are contained in one single screen and are readily available. At the top of the screen, there is the taskbar. The taskbar gives access to basic functions like create a new workflow, load a stored workflow for editing, save the created workflow, connect, disconnect the instrument, run and abort the workflow when operating in online mode, retrieve information about the software and open the user manual by the info and help buttons. Once the instrument configuration is loaded, all the correspondent modules and tools appear listed in the modules panel along the right side of the screen. This panel is split into two subsections. The upper section shows all the modules and tools present in the configuration, while the bottom section shows additional information for each tool. The configuration used for this tutorial contains three tools. Two tools for liquid injection with different volume syringe and a tool for the solid phase microextraction SPME arrow. Then several additional modules are also included in the configuration as required by the sample preparation procedure. Along the left side of the screen, there is the steps panel. In this section, all of the actions which can be performed with the current configuration are listed. Those actions are grouped into different categories according to their functionality, such as control commands, cleaning steps, liquid handling steps, sample prep steps, signal commands, and injection modes. Remember that only actions that can be performed with the tool and modules of the current online offline configurations are reported in this panel. Along the bottom left side of the screen, the software shows a useful top view of the instrument configuration where the configured modules and tool are graphically visualized. Next to the module top view, there is another tab for the execution log, which lists all the operation done in real time by the Triplus RSH auto sampler. These information are visible only during the actual execution of the workflow. In the central part of the screen, there is the method panel. This is where the workflow is actually created as a sequence of single steps. As we will see later in this video, this panel is the real core of the software, where steps can be added, moved or deleted whenever it is necessary during the workflow editing with a simple drag and drop motion. The user interface is flexible in terms of the position and dimension of each panel. It can be fully customized by the user by stretching, moving and repositioning each panel on the screen. And if you lose your place, it is possible to come back to the default view with just a simple click. Now let's proceed by showing how to create a brand new workflow. This demonstration will show how to program the addition of a reagent to the sample, followed by a sample shaking and sample injection. This is a simple example of a workflow consisting of only four steps. However, following the same approach, you can add as many steps are required by the sample preparation procedure. Each action commands can be easily moved from the steps panel to the method panel by a simple drag and drop motion. First, the use tool command is required to instruct the Triplus RSH auto sampler to take a tool. 
The selected LS2 liquid tool contains a 50 microliter syringe, which is suitable for adding the 25 microliter of reagent needed for our workflow. Second, we need to withdraw the reagent. Scroll down the list of actions and drag and drop the correct one into the method. To complete this step, specify the position of the reagent vial. It can be placed either in one position of the washing station or in one position in the rack. For example, consider it is placed in the washing station in position 3. Then, set the volume of the reagent to be taken, in this case 25 microliters. The next step is reagent dispensing. Locate the correct action from the list and drag and drop in the method. Here, specify the reagent dispensing destination. The software offers different choices. It is possible to either dispense the reagent in a specific and fixed sample vial position or in a position got from the sequence. If the sequence position is chosen, the reagent will be added to the sample that is going to be analyzed according to the sequence. Also, set the amount of reagent that has to be dispensed. In this case, we would like to dispense the entire withdrawn amount of 25 microliters. By clicking on More button, additional parameters can be set, such as the dispensing speed and the penetration depth of the syringe. To edit the parameters, deselect the box for the default value, then enter the desired value in the text box. Remember that when the box is flagged, the workflow will use the default set value for that parameter. The third step of the workflow involves the sample vial vortexing. The correct action has to be taken and added to the workflow. Vortex 1 must be specified as the module used for this action. As in the previous step, it is important to set the position of the sample vial that needs to be vortexed. Similarly, it is possible to specify a fixed position to get the vial position from the sequence. Again, by clicking on More button, it is possible to better customize this action by setting the agitation speed and the agitation time. The last step of this workflow is the sample injection. To properly program this step, it is important to change the tool for liquid injection and select the most suitable one. Drag and drop the liquid injection command and select the right tool. In this case, select the LS1 liquid tool which contains a 10 microliter syringe suitable for a GC injection. Then, set the sample vial position from the sequence and specify the injection volume. Finally, specify where the sample has to be injected, which means to select which GC and which injector have to be used. Since the liquid injection includes the syringe washing after the injection, we also specify the position of the washing station. The More button allows the customization of several injection parameters, like the pre-wash, the sample rinses, the penetration depth, the injection speed and mode, and the post-wash parameters. The composition of the workflow is fully flexible. At any time, it is possible to add, remove and modify all the steps. For example, it is possible to add a cleaning step for the syringe simply with a drag and drop of the corresponding action. And for all the actions, the corresponding parameters have, can be customized. Additionally, for very long workflow, it is useful to add some comments before each step. This can be done with a simple drag and drop of the comment action into the method. Now the workflow is complete and it is ready to be saved and exported to the CDS software. By clicking on the Save Save As button, it is possible to save the workflow as an XML file. The XML file will be loaded during the method editing into either the Thermoscientific Chromelion Chromatography Data System software or the Thermoscientific Trace Finder software. You have learned how to program your Triplus RSH auto sampler with the new Thermoscientific Sampling Workflow Editor, a new visual programming software to easily make your sample preparation fully automated. To learn more about how your laboratory can automate routine sample handling procedures with the Triplus RSH auto sampler and the new sampling workflow editor, 
Contact your Thermal Fisher scientific representative today or visit us online at www.thermofisher.com slash sampling workflow editor.